In this video, we're going to take a short look at Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. I'm going to start looking at Microsoft Outlook. When Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 was first being designed, the decision was made to use Microsoft Outlook's interface as the role model. The reason being, of course, is that Microsoft Outlook is so well used and well known and by leveraging that knowledge, new employees and people new to the CRM system can take advantage of all their previous experience and knowledge about the Outlook interface and transfer that knowledge directly into Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. In the Outlook interface, we're organized in a, a home page that has links in the lower left corner to the various major portions of the Outlook program, things like mail, calendar, contacts, tasks, etc. When we switch over to the Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 interface, you'll see that it's very, very similar. With Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011, there are two ways to access the system. One is web-based, and that's the system that we're looking at currently. There's also a client for the Outlook product directly, and we'll see that at the end of the demo. Just like in Outlook, once we get into CRM, you can see that we've organized it into major groups. The workplace, kind of the dashboard, the starting point for most employees when they first come into Dynamics CRM 2011, and then the three major modules that CRM contains, sales, marketing, service. And we'll talk a little bit about each one of those. From the workplace, we were immediately brought into a dashboard view of CRM where a user can see things like their pipeline, what they expect for opportunities, and their probability of being closed. That's exampled here with the conical shape. And as we move down, we can see we go from phase one into phase two, and finally into phase three. I can also see some metrics. In this case, we're looking at a metrics for the service portion of CRM and the cases that have been labeled by their different priorities and the dates in which they were created from low to normal to high. If I scroll down a little bit, CRM is going to provide information about the current activities that this employee is scheduled to work on. All of these of course are underlined and quick linked so they can drill back and see the details on any one of these. Let's turn now to the sales center. The Sales Center is going to focus on those activities and those pieces of master information that are relevant to a salesperson or maybe a customer service rep. So we'll see quick links above this for leads, whether they are generated from your own website, it's a purchased lead list, or maybe from trade show information, things of that nature. Leads are then turned into opportunities once the sales reps had a chance to talk to those individuals, verify that they do have a need that can be met by the company, and we'll start to qualify some information about them. The name of the company, the contact, the value of the opportunity, how many dollars we think it might be worth, etc. And again, everywhere throughout the system, you'll see that these become underlined links, and we can drill back and see more information about a specific opportunity. In this case, it's going to open in a new window, and we'll pull that information up. When the opportunity comes up inside the system, we'll see the details, what interest, uh, topic they're interested in, who's the potential customer, etc., revenue information for the pipeline, for our forecasting capabilities, and then if necessary, things like what line items from our product catalog they might be interested in. Across the top, Dynamics CRM will use the ribbon bar, similar to the rest of the Microsoft Office product lines, and provide quick access to a variety of tasks and activities that relate to this opportunity. Save it and close it, create a new one. The actions would include, we can say that we have either won or lost this particular opportunity. If we've made some change to its probability, its value, dates of close, etc., I can recalculate that opportunity and using the integration capabilities, automatically update my forecast, which then feeds into the pipeline. Collaboration will allow me to bring additional documents or additional people into this. I could, for example, say that I want to assign this opportunity to a different employee so they can follow up on it at a future date. 
if I do that assignment to another employee, that will show up as an open task inside their homepage or their workspace inside the CRM product. We can also initiate workflows from here. I might have a workflow, for example, that would welcome this new opportunity, provide them with some background information about my company, my products, my services, and arrange for follow-up calls or follow-up emails, or to include them in a new marketing campaign, etc. The marketing portion allows me to communicate to one or a large number of my opportunities and my contacts at one time and then track the responses to that marketing campaign as people either open the emails, click on the links inside them, or start to allow us to work backwards to calculate the values. This can include a variety of campaigns, and those campaigns can again be identified, drilled back on, I can see the details, what was the purpose of the campaign, was there a budget associated for the campaign, which of my opportunities or which of my contacts were involved inside that campaign. This model exists throughout the CRM system. We're going to start with a kind of top-down view with a summarized amount of information and then provide you with the ability to drill down to see more detail. In this case, my campaign has a variety of actions that are available to it. I could copy this campaign and use it as a basis for creating a follow-up campaign so maybe I could take the campaign that was run in the fall of 2011 and say I want to use that as the basis for creating a new campaign for spring of 2012. Again, they have the ability to connect in, bring in other opportunities or other details, assign it to another individual, run a workflow. The third major piece of the Dynamic CRM 2011 is in the service. And this relates to customer service activities for my existing customers, someone that I may have sold a product or a service to in the past, and I need, now need to go through and follow up with those individuals, track the progress of that support case as it works through the system, and then use those details gathered as the basis for running reports and metrics to determine the performance and the capabilities of my CRM and my service offerings. For example, I may have one where the average order ship time was later than it should have been. So I'm going to use that as the basis for an investigation to determine what can I do to improve my service offering and reduce that amount of time that it takes. When the details of that campaign, or in this case, service call come up, I can see the case number that was assigned to it, the overview, including the title of the case, the customer that it relates to, who it's been assigned to, and if relevant, any contract or product information that may be involved in either the initial case or in the resolution of that case. As always, I have the ability to resolve the case, cancel it, connect to other activities or other functionalities, and assign it to another individual inside the organization so they can follow up. Perhaps I'm going on vacation and I want to make sure that this case is followed up on before I get back. I choose to assign this to another user or a different team. Use the little looking glass here to find another individual inside the organization. And maybe I'm going to assign this one to Jill. Now I'll still be able to track this case, but the primary responsibility has now been assigned to Jill and it will show up on her open list of items. I'd then save and close that case and go back to looking at the other cases that are in the queue waiting for my attention. I want to finish by going back into Microsoft Outlook. As I mentioned in the opening comments, Outlook is not only the model that was used to determine the look and feel and the layout for the user interface in CRM 11, but we have also chosen to embed all of the CRM functionality inside the Outlook client. This will allow employees to start the day inside Microsoft Outlook, which is probably the first program most individuals launch when they start their work day. And from there, they have access to all of the sales information, all of the marketing information, as well as all of the service information, if their user security gives them that access, all from within a single interface.
as that information comes up, I can now see all of the accounts that are associated with my user ID inside the CRM system, and again provide that full drillback capability to see all the details, whatever might be involved in handling the next sales opportunity and tracking that through the system. Thank you for taking some time to look at this video. Be sure to check out our other CRM videos as they get posted. Thank you.